You know, I always want to start my videos out just by rocking out to some music, but the problem is I can't play this rocking music in the background because copyright strikes and all that, but as rocking out as I am right now, I really can't do this because it's kind of rude, so I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna get into this review. What is going on guys, Ryan Nelson here, and today I wanted to follow up with a previous video that I did about solid state hard drives. I've added a few more today, so get a little bit bigger of a sampling to kind of compare these and see if there's really much difference in them all. So to start off, I'm testing with the same two drives I tested before, the SanDisk Extreme and the Samsung T5 drives. In addition to that, I have the G Technologies R series drive, one terabyte, and then I have the Generation 2 Western Digital My Passport drive, and then lastly, I have the Lacey Generation 2 Solid State Drive. So let's compare these and see what the difference is. Let's get into it. Now, when you first open up any of these drives, they all come with a USB-C to USB-C cable and some version of a USB-C to USB-A cable. Some have a little adapter that just goes on the USB-C cable. Others have their own separate cable. I do prefer to have the adapter because it's just less stuff, less cables you have to carry around. I'm always for less cables, less cables, less clutter neater packaging, neater traveling. Now, if you wanna talk about size, weight, and feel of all of these, you'll notice if you're looking at the SanDisk, the Western Digital, and the G Technology Drive, that they're all kind of a different shape than you're used to. And I'm guessing that's because they're all made by the same parent company. So they're all kind of using the same innards, which would lead me to believe they're all gonna be about roughly the same speed. We'll get to that here in a minute. Looking at all these, I do really like the SanDisk. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got the little loop on it so you can attach it to things when you're out and about. The Western Digital, not so much. And with the GTEC drive, I think it looks really cool. It's a little bit bigger, has a nice feel to it, but if you're really into flashy, techy gear, like this is definitely the coolest looking drive out of any of these that I have here. But it's also the heaviest. I did find that to be a little bit of an issue. The other drives I can plug in with a little short cable. I can pick my laptop up, walk around the room. I don't worry about them falling out. Now the GTEC drive did come loose a couple of times and get disconnected from the computer just because of the weight of that thing dangling on the cord. If I was on the edge of the table and it just pulled itself out a little bit. Now I can see that hitting the ground, but don't worry about that. This one claims to have about a nine foot drop test on it. So if it hits the ground from three feet, you should be fine. Don't recommend doing that too often, but solid state drive, it should hold up for a while. All right, enough about looks and feels. Let's get into the meat of what matters in these drives is the speed, the speed you can work off these things. Now I did test all of these drives on USB-C and USB-A, so let's see what we came up with. Starting off on USB-C, I did the Samsung drive, which came in at 483 write, 524 read, SanDisk Extreme came in at 468 write, 521 read. The G Tech drive came in at 470 write, 515 read. The Western Digital came in at 470, same as the G Tech, write, 496 read. A little bit slower than the other two, but still not too bad. And then the Lacey came in at 478 write, 519 read. So taking a look at those, the Samsung still has the edge over all of these. It's just slightly faster marginal, but slightly faster. And then if we take a look at USB-A speeds, the Samsung comes in at 429 write, 431 read. SanDisk comes in at 427 write, 429 read. The GTEC comes in at 391 write and 429 read. I'm not sure why that one's writing so slow. And then the Western Digital comes in at 427 write and 431 read. The Lacey comes in at 425 write and 385 read. Now, all very similar, but again, the Samsung disk does pull ahead just slightly over everybody else. And being the least expensive drive, I think that's doing pretty good. So overall price versus performance, I do think the Samsung is the way to go. I do, however, personally like the SanDisk Extreme Drive. I just like the way it feels. It's nice and slim. It fits in your pocket. It's got that little hook on it. Still sold on that. But if you need to save a couple bucks, get the Samsung Drive. You're not gonna be disappointed. Now I have spent the last couple of weeks backing up to these drives, working off of these drives. And one question I do get asked semi-frequently about solid state drives is, do they get hot? Hot, not so much. They all get a little bit warm to the touch, but I wouldn't call them hot, like finger burning hot, but they do get a little warm, just in case you were wondering. Now working off of all of these drives over the course of a couple of weeks, I can tell I'm specifically working off of one drive versus another drive. 
they all seem to be on a pretty level playing field. The prices of each of these are all very comparable. They're all within 20, 30 bucks of each other. Performance, also very comparable. Again, the Samsung Drive does edge out performance wise just over the rest of them. So that's definitely a good value for your money. But I do have to say my least favorite drive to handle of any of these was the Lacey. It's just big, it's square, it's got sharp edges. It just seems to be a little bit abnormally large compared to the rest of these. I'm not gonna say it's a large drive by any means, but it's a little bit bigger than what I feel like it should be compared to the rest of these. Now, if you wanna check out any of these drives for yourself, I've dropped some links down below in the description. Right now, as I'm recording this video, several of these are right around $150 at B&H, so go ahead and check those out. Buy one, give it a shot, you won't be disappointed. Now, if you're working off of an older machine, still working off of USB-A, this is still a great way to get a little boost in performance without spending too much money or actually upgrading your computer. And it's gonna transfer over once you upgrade your computer. These things will be good for quite a while. So to wrap this up real quick, Lacey Drive, not my favorite, good speeds. G-Tech Drive, really flashy, Little on the pricey side, little heavy, but it looks cool, it still works great. The Western Digital Drive, I didn't find anything I loved about it, I didn't find anything I hated about it. Speeds are still good. SanDisk Drive, personal favorite, like the way it feels, it's nice and small, it's got that little hook to it. And then the Samsung Drive, I think that's gonna be the best performance versus value for your dollar. So my recommendations would be either the SanDisk Extreme or the Samsung Drive. But that being said, you're not gonna go wrong with any of these drives. All right guys, well that's what I have for you today. Do me a huge favor, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time.